Yes, then you'll know you're in, then you'll out, you're up, and you're down. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Fear of commitment versus fear of abandonment. Is there a difference? In some cases, yes. In some cases, no. If you're struggling to make a commitment to someone or you're wondering why someone else might have a difficult time committing to you, then stick around and find out. This is the place to be if you want some insight from a licensed therapist that doesn't completely bore you to tears. Okay. For those of you who are already subscribed and seen some of my videos, welcome back. So glad to have you. If you're new and just stopping by, hi. My name is Keisha Martine and I'm a therapist. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it today, right then. Moving on, I'm really excited to be answering this question today because it came from one of our members on our Discord server, Blessed from the Midwest. Thank you so much for the question. Woo! So we have commitment issues versus abandonment issues. What is the difference? Well, oftentimes they do overlap. Some people think they're one and the same, and sometimes that's the case. They're not mutually exclusive, and they can occur at the same time. And so there are cases where people have a fear of commitment because they're afraid of being abandoned. Now, please keep in mind, this is a very muddy, gray kind of area, and some of the things that I'll talk about with someone that has a fear of commitment still overlap with the people that have a fear of abandonment. I'll get to that a little later. Don't miss it, all right? But I'm gonna go ahead and start with the people that aren't necessarily afraid of being abandoned, but they still struggle to commit. So sometimes a person might struggle to commit because of their indecisive nature. There are just people out there that are generally indecisive. And in some cases, they're indecisive because they're so concerned about what other people think about their choices, whether it be family member or friends. And it doesn't really have anything to do with being abandoned. It's just like, well, I don't really know what it is that I want. Or if I choose this, then what is that person gonna think? Okay, also another reason why someone might struggle to commit is because they're not really sure what their true relationship needs are just yet. They might still be growing and learning about who they are, or maybe they're unsure about who they are. This is oftentimes related to past experiences. So for instance, perhaps they weren't allowed to have very much independence or a lot of choice growing up, and so they just might generally be kind of confused about what they really want. Huh? They might have a strong desire for independence so that they can figure things out, and they just wanna be free for a little bit. And so in this case, the fear is in losing oneself, not necessarily the other person. So take that into consideration. If you're wondering like, why doesn't he or she wanna to commit to me and have a relationship and all things, maybe it doesn't have anything to do with you, all right? Just saying. Now I got a few more to talk to you about, about fear of commitment before I go on to the fear of abandonment. But before I do, there's an announcement I have. It's Counseling Awareness Month. Did you know that? Well, it's a thing. Counseling, in case you weren't aware that counseling is a thing. Okay then, moving on. Sometimes people are in a transitional phase in their life. They don't know what direction to take. They don't know what job to take. They don't know where they wanna live. They're still figuring stuff out. And they might avoid commitment because they might be afraid that committing to something might interfere with their ability to decide or make a choice that's good for them. So that's something else to think about. Also, they just may not trust their choices. They might have a strong sense of self-doubt or insecurity in their ability to make good decisions, possibly because they weren't allowed to make decisions before and they've never had that opportunity to figure out what that looks like for them. And so they might really care about you, but don't trust themselves enough to be comfortable with their decision or believe that they're gonna be able to follow through or be a good partner. Now wait, stop, before you go, let me explain. They may not trust themselves because of past mistakes or past experiences that they still haven't sorted through. So they might have some internal struggles going on that they need to sort through before they're able to fully commit to somebody. And if that's the case, that's not a bad thing, all right? But I also gotta say, if that's the case and you're wanting to commit, don't wait around, all right? There's no guarantee that person's gonna figure it out. And so, if they're stringing you along, that's not cool. Okay, all right, moving on. Now that you have a better understanding of why someone might struggle to commit but not necessarily have a fear of abandonment, I'm gonna talk about some signs that someone is afraid of being abandoned, or maybe you are, all right? So pay attention. Someone who is afraid of being abandoned oftentimes has intense separation anxiety 
Whereas someone who's just afraid to commit might be totally okay with you doing you, all right? So someone who's afraid of being abandoned might go to extreme lengths to try to keep you under their thumb or keep tabs on you or might demonstrate some erratic behavior if you demonstrate any kind of independence. All right, so that's something to look out for within yourself or someone else if you're wondering about if, if it's you. Another thing that someone might have if they're afraid of being abandoned is they feel really unworthy of being loved. They don't feel secure in who they are and in their worth in terms of what they have to offer another person. Whereas someone who struggles to commit might know their worth, but again, they might be afraid of not being able to follow through and afraid of hurting you. And maybe that's where you're at. Maybe you're having a difficult time committing because you're like, ooh, man, I really don't want to hurt this person. I'm really indecisive. I don't really know what I want. All the things. Something else that might be present in someone who fears abandonment is hypersensitivity to criticism, which goes back to feeling insecure, unworthy of love, right? They're going to be super, super hypervigilant about being criticized because they're afraid you might leave. All right. And here's a big one they might quickly attach to unavailable partners. I know, it might seem like, well, that doesn't make sense if they're afraid of being abandoned. Why would they attach themselves to someone that's unavailable? Well, one of the reasons for that could be is that you're essentially reliving patterns you observed or were exposed to in childhood. And so what you perceive as love would be someone that is just not emotionally there for you or detached in some way. And so those people might be more appealing to you because that's what you know and that's what you're familiar with, all right? It goes a lot deeper than that, but you know, if you're seeing this, you know what I'm gonna say. Okay. Also, someone who fears abandonment might stay in unhealthy, toxic situations no matter how bad it is. Whereas someone who is just struggling to commit might be like, peace out, mm -mm, this ain't for me, this is not okay. I'm gonna walk away because I know I got other things I gotta do anyway. I'm not, you know, on things. And another one to look out for is that someone who is fearful of abandonment might have difficulty trusting someone. And so that goes back to you being insecure or feeling like you're unworthy. It's like, why would I trust anybody to want to be with me? Because am I worth it? All the things, all right? Now, someone who struggles to commit still might have trust issues, but again, may not be afraid of being abandoned. And so really only you can answer these questions for yourself if you are wondering if that's what you're struggling with or not. And I'm gonna tell you too, if you're watching this trying to figure someone else out, all I gotta say is that it's more about your relationship with yourself than it is about the other person, okay? If you're waiting around to see if this person's gonna be this knight in shining armor for you, or you know, your beautiful queen, or whatever the case might be, you know, think about what is the reason that you're sticking it out or trying to figure it out if you're not getting what you need or want. Anyway, something to think about. Right. All right, blessed from the Midwest and all of you who are watching, I hope this answered your question. But before you go, stop, wait, stay put, stay put. Follow us on Instagram, we're doing a giveaway. If you wanna know what that is, follow us, okay? And if you like this video and you enjoyed the content, then make sure you like it and stick around or come back or subscribe or whatever you wanna do. Right then, see you soon. Until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved.